Hello everyone, it's Shubo Shetty with Shu Solution. This is the video with a troubleshooter of your mask phobia. If you feel it's worth of watching, please take a second to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Well dear students, let us continue the exercise 10.2. So up to 6 we have completed in the last video. So let us continue the further problems. Seventh problem is like this. Find the unit vector in the direction of the vector A is equal to I cap plus J cap plus 2K cap. Please, we are not about the question first. See, whatever the question is are going to solve, plus first you must be very perfect about the question what they are asking. So based on that you have to make a move. Okay. So make it habit of reading the question first. Okay. So first thing, find the unit vector in the direction of the vector A. In the direction of the vector A, they have given a vector. What is that? They have given a particular vector that is i plus j plus 2k. So you need to find out the unit vector in this direction, the same direction. Unit vector means you have to find out a new vector. That new vector magnitude should be 1 and that should move in the same direction. Okay, so already have in the last uh, second or third video we have discussed in the previous video we have discussed students that how to find out the unit vector for a given vector. It's very simple. What should we do? So the unit vector for the given vector is nothing but formula a cap is equal to if here they are asking vector a. So I have written a cap. If it's vector b means you have to write b cap. So vector a divided by its magnitude divided by its magnitude. Correct. Just you need to find out here first its magnitude. So what's the magnitude of this vector A? The magnitude of this vector is we got root 6. So the magnitude of vector is here. I got root 6. Can you just here? The magnitude of vector is nothing but root of root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square is equal to root 6. Therefore, the unit vector is equal to vector A divided by magnitude of vector A. So vector A is i plus j plus 2k which is the answer one correct vector is here i plus j plus 2k which is the answer one correct that you have to write here so now let's divide this i plus j plus 2k by root 6 so we got here 1 by root 6 means 1 divided by you can write here separately or if you keep here as a partial it's enough. So you just you write it is separately. 1 by root 6 i plus 1 by root 6 j plus 2 by root 6 k. You can stop here itself. If you want, you can extend it to here. I hope it's clear. Now let's move to the second question. And the second question is like this: find the unit vector in the direction of vector PQ. In the direction of vector PQ. Whereas they are given the P and Q, whereas they are given the P and Q, that is P is 1, 2, 3 and Q is 4, 5, 6. So please be careful. Previous problem, see, previous problem they have given vector A directly, means position vector they, have, they were given. But in the question number 8, they, are, they were given two points, they were not given directly vector PQ. They are not given vector PQ, they have given here point P as well as point Q. So we need to find it first vector PQ. We need to find it first vector PQ. So how to find it vector PQ already we have discussed in the last video. That is vector joining two points, correct? So position vector of terminal points, position vector of terminal points minus position vector of terminal points minus position vector of initial point, correct? Huh? So here initial point C, they are given here Vector PQ means initial point is P, terminal point is Q. Therefore, vector PQ is equal to vector PQ is equal to position vector of point P is what? 1 into I, I 2J plus sorry, position vector of terminal point they are asking. Terminal point means the terminal point is which one is your terminal point? The terminal point is Terminal point 
is q so which are they 4i plus 5j plus 6k correct minus minus initial point i plus 2j plus 3k or you can write directly 4 minus 1 5 minus 2 6 minus 6 this is the way if you do you will be getting the vector p2 so first our job is before you find out the unit vector first you need to find out the vector p2 because previous problem they have given direct proportion vector but here they have given the points so first you need to find out the vector p2 by the formula by using the terminal point minus initial point so i got a finally vector p2 is equal to 3a plus 3j plus 3k now we need to find out the magnitude of sorry p2 vectors unit vector i want the unit vector along this direction okay so to need this one same formula was that vector p2 divided by magnitude of vector p2 so first find out the magnitude of vector p2 i got here 3 root 3 magnitude of vector p q is 3 root 3 therefore the unit vector in the direction of vector p q is the unit vector in the direction of vector p q is formula vector p q divided by magnitude that is 3i plus 3j plus 3k 3i plus 3j plus 3k divided by 3 root 3 gets magnitude yes i hope it's clear students so let's move to the next problem so the next one is like this the question is here for given vectors a for given vectors a 2i minus j plus 2k and vector b minus i plus j minus k find the unit vector in the direction of a plus c see the difference between the last three questions for the, these three questions first question directly they have given vector a we need to find it unit vector along with the shape second vector they have given p and q we need to find it first p q then we have to find out the unit vector along with this p q now they have given two vectors a and vector b and vector B. First, we need to find out the sum of these two vectors. First, we need to find out the sum of these two vectors. So, after finding sum of these two vectors, means when you add this one, you will be getting a new vector. For that resultant vector, we have we need to find out the unit vector. So, let's find out the first A plus B. We know how to find out this one, correct? Yes, just find out the A plus B. The A plus B is equal to here. Just add in the corresponding elements, correct? We are adding the corresponding elements how to add the corresponding elements we know that is okay so we are 2 in this 2 and minus 1 2 and minus 1 corresponding elements then minus 1 and plus 1 2 and minus 1 of the corresponding just add this corresponding elements we'll be getting a plus b so we'll be getting a plus b so the a plus b is here for a plus b is here for a plus b is i plus k or a plus b is equal to here. a plus b is equal to i plus k now i need to find out the unit vector for this same formula so unit vector along with this direction is just a plus b vector a plus vector b divided by its magnitude plus vector b its magnitude yes this is the way you need to find out so first find its magnitude that is root 2 then the unit vector along with this direction is i plus k divided by root 2 this is the formula this is the problem Okay, let's move to the next question, dear students. Question number 10. So, question number 10 is like this. Find a vector. Find a vector. See, this is also related to the same problems what you have solved, but here's one thing extra is there. Find a vector. It's uh, one of the important, almost all are important. We can't ne neglect any questions, dear students. Those that are targeting for out of word, we can't neglect any of the questions. Okay, so find a vector in the direction of vector A. Find a vector in the direction of vector A. For this direction, you have to find out a vector A. So not they are not asking here a unit vector. They are asking to find out a new vector which is length A8, which is magnitude 8. Till now we are finding to the magnitude 1, means unit vector we are finding. But now they are asking find out the new vector with magnitude 8, with magnitude 8. So how to find out with magnitude 8? Imagine here is one place. There is one place, there is one. You need to go here. There is no any other shortcut. From, from here to here, there is no any way. Okay. Here. Sorry.
as in a to b c okay actually you need to go a to c you need to go a to c but instead of that by mistake you went to a to b so but you have to go to a to c so what you have to do you have to come back from b to a then you have to move to the a to c imagine just imagine okay because there is no any way to go from here to here there is no any way so i have to find out the a new vector of magnitude 8 I have to find out the new vector of magnitude 8. So to find out the new vector of magnitude 8, first let us find out the unit vector for the given vector. Let us first find out the unit vector for this. Why, sir, if you are the question is simple. So when you find out the unit vector, the magnitude will be what? 1. When you find the unit vector, the magnitude will be 1. So just multiply for that vector 8. Then you will be getting a new vector with magnitude 8. Will you agree with me? I hope it's clear. So I need to find out the magnitude of I need to find out a vector of magnitude 8. The new vector magnitude should be 8. So to find out the new vector with magnitude 8, first just find out the a unit vector for the given vector. Find first a unit vector for the given vector. So when you find the unit vector for the given vector, you will be getting the new vector of length 1. Correct? Length 1. So just multiply this by 8, then you will be getting the a new vector of magnitude 8. Suppose, suppose they can ask here, find a unit vector, whatever, whatever they can ask here. So, find a, a new vector of direct, sorry, of magnitude 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever it may be. So, just you have to, you need to multiply by the given number. If they ask, find the unit vector of magnitude, find the unit vector of magnitude, if they ask 7 or 8 means multiply. If they ask by 7 means multiply by 7. If they add 10 means multiply by 10. This is the way you need to find out. So, for whatever it is magnitude, first you need to find out the unit vector. So, I hope you know how to find out the unit vector for the given vector. Yes. Find first is magnitude. The magnitude of the given vector is root 30. The magnitude of the given vector is root 30. Then find out its unit vector. So, its unit vector is phi i minus j plus 2k divided by root 30. Correct? Then multiply a new vector. This is our new vector. So this is our new vector. Just multiply by 8. Then we'll be getting, you can stop here itself or if you want you can continue this step also. Okay. So this is our new vector with magnitude 8. Well, let's move to the next question. The question number 11 is like this, dear students. Show that, show that the given vectors, the given the two vectors, show that the given vectors are collinear, show that the given vectors are Collinear. Okay, so already we know. Collinear vector means what we know. Collinear vector means what we know, and how to find out the collinear vectors. Just we have discussed in the multiples of a scalar to a particular number. We have discussed there, correct? Collinears. And when can you say given vectors are collinear? Also, that will concept we have discussed in the last or my previous videos. If you have any doubt, please once go through that video to get an idea. Okay, so before we solve this, you must be have a clear idea what is meant by collinear vectors and when can you say given two vectors are collinear. These two things you must be know. So these two are uploaded in our previous videos. Okay, so let's all these ones. Now, see here, let me take this as a vector. If you are given two vectors, vector A, I am taking it as a vector A and vector B. Okay, I am taking it as a vector A and vector B. So vector A is 2i minus 3j plus 4k and vector b is minus 4i plus 6j minus 8k. What's the concept? When can you say a given vector is a collinear? If vector b is equal to lambda into vector a, whereas lambda is equal to scalar or, or b1 by a1 is equal to b2 by a2 or c2 by, sorry, a1, B1 by A1, B2 by A2, B3 by A3. If this satisfies equal to lambda, then also you can say it's a collinear. Okay. So, or vector B, any one vector should be equal to the product of a scalar. Under one vector will be the product of, under, sorry, product of a scalar. Multiply by a scalar of one vector will be the, okay. This way also you can find out the given vectors are collinear or not. Let me take here vector B. Just here vector B is vector B is 
to be here for a plus six months. Okay. Just take the minus two. I think here also, here also, here also there is something common. So that minus two is common. Correct. Take it out, sir. When you take minus two out, sir, what left out here? Two I left out here. Minus two you have taken. So minus three left out here. Minus two you have taken. So four left out. Now this is nothing but minus two into two I minus three is a plus four K. Means what you check out? Two I minus three is a plus four K. Something but vector A. So now this is in the form of vector B is equal to lambda into A. Whereas lambda is equal to here minus two. Therefore, the given vectors are collinear. The given vectors are collinear. Okay. So now let's move to the next question. That is question number twelve. Find the direction cosines of the vector A. Find the direction cosines of the vector A. So direction cosines means already we know cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. So let me tell you here one simple method, dear students. Just to find out here this is also very easy. Just to find out the unit vector for the given vector. Just to find out the unit vector for the given vectors, and then next find out the coef right on the coefficient of i, j, and k. That will be the direction cosines. That will be the direction cosines. So we know already. I hope you all know that one. How to find out the direction cosines? Sorry, unit vector. Find out magnitude of A. Find out magnitude of A. If you want, you can do this way. A simple way. Just find out the magnitude of A. Magnitude of A. You got root 14. Find out the unit vector. Unit vector is equal to what? This vector, vector A, divided by magnitude of vector A. Correct. So that is equal to I plus 2J plus 3K divided by divided by magnitude of that is root 14 then yeah, coefficient of i is what 1 by root 14 coefficient of j is what 2 by root 14 coefficient of k is what 3 by root 14 this is our direction cosines or if you want you can use the formula of cos alpha is equal to x by magnitude of r cos beta is equal to y by magnitude of r cos gamma is equal to z by magnitude of r okay this is simply just find out the unit of the and write on the coefficient of i, j, and k. That will be the direction cosines.